Mr. Trump, thank you for doing this. Thank you. Do you know who I am? No. You're an heir to the uh, Hilton fortune and your cousin is uh, Paris Hilton, who I met. Very attractive. Very We're not attractive. related. Today, we have a special guest joining me. It's 2024, again, presidential nominee and apprentice alum, Donald Trump. Thank you. I was the host. I was the host. Were you on the show at any point? I was asked to be on, don't you remember? Um, yeah, well, I can't keep track of everything. But I, I said have an incredible no. incredible memory. You said no. I said okay. no. Okay. Who was on that season? Was it Joan Rivers? I or? don't know. It, it was forever ago. Yeah, I think, it was a while. I think the highest rated TV show in the history of television. A lot of people don't know that. NBC owes me a lot of money because it was such a hit. Highest rated in the Nielsen's? In the Nielsen's, yeah. yeah. Bridget Nielsen. She was very good. She was with Sylvester Stallone at the time. We tried to get him on the show. He said no. Oh. But let's get to more important things. Sure, absolutely. That's why I'm here. I'm you here. are currently facing 91 criminal charges. Right. The most of any president ever. And uh, twice indicted, I might add. Right. And many of your followers don't care. Right, isn't that amazing? It's absolutely fantastic. They don't care. I mean, I'm gonna be in court starting on the 15th. I'm gonna be in court on the 25th. It's really amazing, they don't mind at all. And you know, um, Howard Dean had a gun out of the Democratic race years ago because he said, Wah! So it's uh, very interesting how these things happen. You know, what's his name? Dan, the guy who was the VP for uh, first President Bush. Dan, you know, Quayle. Dan Quayle, Miss, Miss, uh, oh, sorry. That's okay. It's my cousin Paris. Oh, that's great. Tell her I said hi. I, I love will. Her. I love her. Very attractive. Very attractive. Actually, speaking of Paris, mm -hmm. she is friends with your daughter, Ivanka. Oh, Ivanka. Yeah, my favorite daughter who I would love to date, but all these stupid rules, you know, they won't, they won't allow that. It's so sad. Ivanka wants nothing to do with you publicly these I, days. I know, I'm in the friend zone right now, but I think if I get back in the White House, she'll be open up, if you know what I mean. She'll, oh, wow. She'll be very friendly. Oh. She'll be very friendly. And, yeah. and Ivanka... And she's Jewish, you know. She's well, Jewish. I was about to ask her husband, yes, Jared. Yes, Jared, Jared. He, he said some very controversial things about Gaza recently. Yes, the Gaza Strips. Yeah. Yes. Do you have any opinion on what's going on there? Oh, absolutely. I love the Jewish people and they love me. I love the Israeli people. I have been to Jerusalem. As you probably know, I moved the embassy from, Jerus uh, from uh, Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and they love me for that and I went there. I went to Jerusalem, I went to the Western Wall, and I call it the best Western Wall because it's so incredible. They call it the Wailing Wall too, but I went there and the Jewish people, the Israeli people love me. They love me so much. They love me so much. They think my name, Donald J. Trump, is Donald Jewish Trump. It's not. <laughs> It's not, it's genius, Perez. It's genius, because I'm a genius, because I solved all the problems in the Middle East. Well, they're still going on. Well, yeah, that's because Joe Biden's in charge and he messed everything up in Gaza. Do you think Gaza would be happening if I was the president? See, even you agree. <laughs> even you agree. And, it's, and Jared got $2 billion from, uh, from the, the prince. The prince. There is no prince in Israel or Gaza? No, no, no. The other prince, the Saudi one, Arabia. The Saudi Arabia. Yes. Yeah, MBS or uh, it, 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 whatever his name. MBS. I think it's MBS. Speaking of Jared, if he has committed any crimes mm -hmm. over the last eight years, mm -hmm. would you pardon his crimes, or, or do you think you know? Probably the, not. Probably not. It would give me more time with the Vunke <laughs> if he was in jail. All right. Well, you know, since I am the queen of all media and I, I began... You're, you're huge. You're I huge. think I began on social media. I want to talk a little bit social media with you. Perfect. Perfect. You know, I'm, the, I'm like the king. You're the queen. I'm the king because I have Truth Social. You have, have truth, truth Social, truth which social. actually I read it's, it's a publicly traded company now. Th and I made $3 billion. $3 billion. It's so incredible. 
because you've made so much money doing that, you don't need to send fundraising emails to your no, supporters. No, 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 I wouldn't, don't put that out. I don't think we need to put that out there. That's, that's not really necessary. Haven't you been asking for help to pay your legal bills? Absolutely, absolutely. But I don't like using my money. I like using other people's money. Oh. And the only way I can get other people's money if they send it to me. So please, send me your money because I have big legal bills, believe me. So believe yeah, me. truth social. Some people argue though that your supporters artificially drove the price of the stock up, that it's not really worth what it is. Oh, absolutely, it's a worthless stock, but they paid for it what they paid for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna stop people from driving it up. I think they call it pump and dump, pump and dump. It's but like, I'm the one who got pumped and got the money, and they're the one that's gonna get dumped and lose it, but I don't care. I don't care. That's why I love the poorly educated. They know nothing about the stock market. It's like that AMC situation all over again. Uh, AMC, the uh, movie were, theaters? Where, yeah, where they were all uh, uh, buying that stock. Right, Everybody right. For, for a period of time there. Oh, wait, is that GameStop? Is that GameStop? It was around that. Yeah, it was all around that time. Similar right. coordinated effort. Right. It's, and there's a movie called Dumb Money. Dumb money, but I don't see how money can be dumb because I love money. Me and money are BFFs, so I think that's really. I mean, you I have mean. done a pretty good job yeah. with your dad's money. I've done an incredible job. I've uh, I've gone bankrupt uh, four to four to six times, and I've been sure I inherited three hundred and thirty-five million dollars, and I turned that into nothing. And that's that's pretty impressive when you think about it. But then I made it all back. Then I made it all back. That's the most important part. So you've got your truth social, right? And you're also allowed back on, you're on Twitter, but you're not really using it. Not really using it right now, but now that we've sold, uh, you know, we've sold Truth Social, I'll probably be a little more active now that we've, I've made my money. Now that I made my money. What are money. your thoughts on Elon Musk? You know what? The guy's a genius. The guy is a genius. He makes cars. He makes rocket ships. He makes uh, he makes X. They call it X. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, he makes. I call work. it Twitter still. I, you know what? I prefer Twitter to tell you the truth. But he is an amazing guy. I don't know why he paid forty two billion dollars for Twitter to switch it to X. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Elon said recently that he is not supporting you in this presidential election. How do you respond? I don't think he said that. He did. I don't think he said that. He said that. He he amplifies my stuff all the time. I'm very surprised. We'll have to check with that. He said is that. Is that Cass? Is that true? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Can you check He said he's that? not supporting you and he's not supporting Joe Biden Oh, that does, Okay, then I feel better. Then I feel better. As long as he's not, as long as he's not supporting RFK, <laughs> I think we're fine. I think we're fine because he's horrible. RFK's horrible. So... There is all this talk of a ban of TikTok mm -hmm. in the United States. Right, right. What are your thoughts? Well, I think you might know I'm not for that. I love the tickety talk. <laughs> I think it's great. I know a lot of people who've done very well, very well on TikTok, some people I know. And I think the best thing we can do is don't, don't do a ban. We sell it to a bunch of American investors. And Steve, uh, my old uh, uh, Secretary of Finance, Steve- Yeah, he's uh, wanting to buy it. He's gonna buy, he's putting a consortium of billionaires Munchen, together. Munchen, yeah. uh, Munchausen, Munchen. Munchen, yeah, Munchen, yeah. Munchen, Munchen. 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 Yes. Yes, Steve Munchen. Uh, but the thing of it is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of the hands of the Chinese who are terrible people. Durable people, I mean, great takeout, durable people. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put it in the hands of a bunch of MAGA billionaires, and then they'll decide who should be on it and who shouldn't be on it. All right, so if anybody, that sounds pretty fair. Yeah, I like that. You, you Coming from you, that means a great deal. That means a great deal. I wanna try to get to know you a little bit better. Oh, thank you. Do you have a best friend? Absolutely. Who is it? Well, it's me, of course. It's me, of course. Spent a lot of time with me. Um, I, I understand me. A lot of people don't understand me, so I'm very happy to be with me. I'm very happy to be with me. A lot of people can't be alone with themselves. I can be alone with myself, you know? And frankly, I don't trust other people. I don't trust other people, you know? When you were in the White House, you were criticized a lot because you, you went out to the golf course all the time. 300 days straight, yeah. Do you not have, in a row, not consecutive. Do you have any hobbies outside of golf? Is, it, is there anything that brings you joy? Mm, rating women. I like rating women. 
I think degrading a, women? Well, that too. But I like rating, rating women. Them. Rating women. Rating women. I, I used to go on Howard Stern and do that, but now he's gone to the dark side. Mm. He's very a left-wing, radical, Marxist, communist, socialist, like a lot of people in the media. But not you. Not you. You're very nice. You're very nice. I, I, I like to think that I'm, I'm right in the middle. You're right in the middle. See, that's what I always say. I'm right in the middle. No, I wouldn't right say that. No? I wouldn't say no, that. No, you wouldn't say no, that. No. Okay. Well, you I used guess to be. I you used to play time. both sides. Right. Remember when I was a Democrat yeah. and I was for abortion? And now, but now, no. No, these people, they, they really hold you back. They, they want you pigeonholed into one thing, you know? Well, speaking of degrading, I mean, rating women. Rating women. <laughs> Because I own two beauty pageants, you know. Right, that. I you was a that. judge right. on Miss USA. Right, Miss USA. I Miss asked Universe. the very famous question of Miss California, the gay marriage question, mm. and it went very viral before virality was even a thing. I, yes, it was. I, it was. It was an iconic moment in Perez history. That's fantastic. How did you say that word again? Perez history. No, I know that part. The virality. Virality. Oh, okay, yes. that's great. That's great. But speaking of women, how is your wife, Melania? Uh, Melania is fantastic. Um, I didn't see her for about three months. We were in the middle of a really massive hide and go seek round. <laughs> Uh, and she's very good. She's very good at hide and go seek. And somehow she got her ankle bracelet off. So we weren't tra able to track her once she got off the grounds. But we have a new ankle bracelet on her. We know exactly where she is at all times. For some reason, it came up the other night. She was with Justin Trudeau, which I, doesn't oh, make any sense. He's single me. now. Oh, he is? Yes. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Ooh. His wife was coming on to be like gangbusters. <laughs>